think we could probably do it live if we divide it up like that. Yeah. <laughs> I really wanted to introduce the cold, dark winter night and the cold, dark North Carolina winter night. You know, how um, the winter night is different than the summer night. You know, it's deeper and darker and farther away. Getting everyone together in one place to make a record um, was a challenge. We played in sort of different formations, you know, with each other, but never as, an, as a unit. But some of these people I've seen before, I mean, I kind of know them, but we haven't really sat down, you know, knee to knee and played music. So we started off and it was obviously there was a, a chemistry right off the bat. music was complicated you know we couldn't just like jump right in there and do it in two seconds like we had to really you know the chord the chordal structure was un is unique and the way that she's written things is just really not sort of your average run-of-the-mill um, songs by any means. As an engineer and producer it's really wonderful to work with such great musicians that are that are willing to just go for it live in the room. This is going to be wide open. You're talking about when does the fill come in? Well, there's an instrument. Come together and bye bye. I mean, I, I, I do that a lot in performances. So, I mean, if I'll you want it. it. We can try it. Wake up, darling, and light the fire. The red bird singing on the telephone wire. All the family's on the way. It's time to get ready for the gathering day. Biscuits buttered and coffee strong. The red bird singing his birdie bird song. Red bird. You know, when I initially heard about the project, I'm like, oh, that's that's going to be good. But I had I had no idea it was going to work this well. 